All men can see these tactics whereby I conquer, but what none can see is the strategy out of which victory is evolved. That's essentially my favorite quote by Sun Tzu from The Art of War. Uh, and in that quote, he actually reveals the secret to all of success in any field, especially the speaking field. Um, if you can truly understand that quote, then you'll basically be able to build your speaking business a lot faster than most speakers. Uh, a lot of speakers, they all want to know how to get booked. I mean, how do you get on more stages? How do you speak on more stages? How do you find the decision makers? How do you get over 10 grand for a speaking gig? How do you do all the marketing stuff? Now, I send a lot of emails out to speakers, uh, especially on this list, and I ask questions like, what do you need help with when it comes to your speaking business? And I'll tend to just read the emails. I mean, everyone, a lot of people will respond, and I'll just read the emails. Sometimes I'll respond, sometimes I'll just read them. And almost every email, everyone, basically everyone says the same thing, just in different words. Uh, basically, the biggest problem is, how do I get paid speaking gigs? That's the biggest problem. How do I get paid speaking gigs? And after I read the emails, I would make some of these videos and I'd answer the questions basically of how to get paid speaking gigs. And then I'll send out another email and then I'll ask, okay, what's your biggest problem? And I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna get something different this time. And this is where things get really interesting because just about every single time, Everyone responds with the same problem. That's how do I get paid speaking gigs? And no matter how many videos I upload, no matter what resources I give, no matter what, the same problem is always asked by every single speaker, how do I get paid speaking gigs? This used to like really bother me just because I would upload videos, audios, all kinds of stuff answering the questions of how to get gigs, how to actually get booked, um, whether it's getting found on, on the internet, uh, finding decision makers, increasing speaking fees, getting more clients, whatever it is, the same question is always asked, how do I get paid speaking gigs? And that's where the quote by Sun Tzu comes into play. Sun Tzu, he was saying that no matter how many times you look at the tactics someone uses, the thing that makes the tactics work is the psychology of the man behind that tactic. Um, look at someone like Michael Jackson. I mean, how many times have you seen someone try to copy Michael Jackson's dance moves? Um, whether it's the moonwalk, whether it's popping and locking, whatever it is, the, per the person who copies him, they never seem to do it just as good as Michael Jackson. I mean, they might be good, but when you see Michael Jackson do it, there's just something about it that makes it look better. I mean, you see Michael Jackson just looks better versus someone else who's copying him, even if they're really good at it. Uh, what, what happens is people essentially try to copy the tactic. Uh, they get the technical parts down of the moonwalk or, or whatever dance moves they're trying to copy. They get the technical parts down. So they, they can technically do it, and they might actually do it better. They might technically do it better from a technique standpoint. But for some reason, nobody can do it just as good as Michael Jackson himself. The reason is because people copy the tactics, but they don't copy the psychology of Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's dance moves, it didn't come from technique. Um, the, the power of his dance moves don't come from his technique. It comes from his conviction. When he dances, he puts everything into it. I mean, it's this like insanely powerful conviction behind every tiny detail. And although the technique might not be perfect, it's the conviction behind it that makes it look so good. Now, think about this in terms of getting speaking gigs. I realize that no matter how many times I tell speakers how to get speaking gigs, the reason they're not getting booked is because they're focusing on the wrong things. They're focusing on the tactics, not the psychology that it takes to make it happen. Speakers, they want to go to conventions, read books, buy courses, um, all this stuff that tells them how to use tactics to get booked. But it's kind of like giving a knife to someone. I mean, if you give someone a knife who doesn't know what they're doing, then it actually makes them worse off. But if you give a knife to Bruce Lee, then it makes him a hundred times more dangerous. 
And no matter how many tactics you learn, if you're not there psychologically, then those tactics won't matter to you. I remember listening to someone talk about a book on social media by Gary Vaynerchuk. It's called Jab, 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 Right Hook, which is a great book on social media. And they were going to, they were talking about how they were going to use all these techniques to, to get speaking gigs. They were like, oh yeah, social media, it's on. And then I asked them about these techniques, like how they were working um, about a month later. And basically they didn't get a single gig. Um, they didn't really improve any part of their social media. Um, but these techniques, in the techniques in the book, are the same ones that Gary Vaynerchuk used to become a multimillionaire. Now look, I'm not saying that uh, that you don't need techniques. Uh, yes, you do need techniques. Um, that way you really do know what you're doing. But technique without the right psychology means absolutely nothing. There's so much information out there about how to get speaking gigs. I mean, things you can literally start doing today, but why aren't you doing it? Why are you checking your Facebook all day instead of building your, your speaking business? If you want the techniques, and there are plenty of techniques in the platform program that we have, uh, in the, uh, there's plenty of techniques, especially in the Speaking Lifestyle Internet course, I mean, the information literally is just right there, step by step. It's how to get gigs, just that type of stuff, step by step, especially in the Speaking Lifestyle Internet course. The information is literally a click away from speakers. But why do speakers still say, how do I get paid speaking gigs? There's so much information out there that it's impossible for a speaker to read even 0.001% of it. The problem isn't a lack of information. It's not that the speakers don't know how to get uh, paid speaking gigs. The problem is the psychology of the speaker behind it. I mean, think about it. If someone put a gun to your head and they said, look, if you don't book a speaking gig by the end of today, then I'm going to pull the trigger. Then how hard do you think you would work right now this very second? I mean, you'd be for damn sure that you would go out and you'd do whatever it takes to get speaking gigs. I mean, you would, if you don't know how to get speaking gigs, like if you literally don't know, you would figure it out within like a couple of minutes and then you would do it nonstop all day. The way you can book a speaking gig today isn't to focus on the tactics. It's to focus on your psychology. If you need the tactics, you can literally just read the Speaking Lifestyle blog. You can just go to the blog and just read all the tactics. Or you can join Platform, which has more detailed type of tactics. But what's going to book, what's going to, to book you speaking gigs today, uh, tomorrow, the next day, it's the psychology you have every second that you're awake. And I'm not saying this to get you motivated. Uh, if you need external motivation to get you to change your life, then nothing's ever going to change. That motivation, it has to come from inside you. It's not, it's not motivation that you need. It's more of a perspective. And by perspective, I mean that you should essentially be thinking about your speaking business all the time, 24-7, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are, it's all about your speaking business. When you're out having lunch, all you can, all you can talk about is your speaking business because that's the only thing that's on your mind. I mean, if you see a waiter spill a cup of water on someone, then all you can think about is how you can take that story and put it in your presentation. Or if you're if you're getting on an airplane and and all you can it's like all you can think about is hmm I wonder who here looks like they'd be a good person to network with because maybe they need a speaker um, and you're just thinking that while you're waiting for your flight that's what I'm talking about that's what perspective is it it has nothing to do with motivation it's just everything you see in your world relates to your speaking business it's when you look at something and all you see is what you focus on and what you focus on is building your speaking business when you get to that level you naturally start to do the right things and here's how you know that you need to change your perspective i mean a lot of times people just don't know that they should change their perspective basically if you have the same problem today this very second that you had a week ago or a month ago or a year ago if your problem is how do i get paid speaking gigs then that means you need to change your perspective and you need to change it fast there's so much information out there it's ridiculous and when you ask like when you ask yourself how do i get paid speaking gigs 
when you're you're basically what you're basically saying is that you don't have the right information to help you get it. You're basically asking, where's the information that's going to actually tell me what to do step by step to get paid gigs? But but what you don't realize is that you probably have enough information already. I mean, let me ask you this uh, and, and tell me if this tactic is brand new to you. And and I mean completely brand new, something that you've literally never heard of before when it comes to getting speaking gigs. Tell me if this is brand new to you. The tactic is this. To get paid speaking gigs, you have to make cold calls. Now, have you heard that before? Of course you have. Or what about this? To get paid speaking gigs, you need to have a great website. Have you heard that before? Well, of course you've heard those before. You heard both those before. Uh, you know that you can make cold calls. You know that you need to have a great website. And how long have you known about it? You've probably known about it for years. But how many calls do you make a day? How long has your website just been sitting there looking horrible with nothing on it? Now, I'm not saying this to make you feel bad. I'm saying this to give you a wake-up call. Uh, you can get paid speaking gigs today just by making cold calls. But, but you know what... I mean, you know what's going to happen. I mean, most speakers, they aren't going to do anything today. They're, they're literally just going to check their emails, check their Facebook, go watch a TV show, go watch a movie. Then they're going to go sit back down and then they're, they're going to ask the same question. Huh, I wonder how I get paid speaking gigs. Don't be one of those speakers. Don't be the speaker who has the same problem today as he did a month ago. Now, of course, if you if you want to... To get really good at like cold call or just really good at marketing stuff, then you do need to know the details. But most people don't even get to that point because they're so busy looking for tactics that they don't pay attention to the psychology they need to implement those tactics. A lot of times the advice we hear and the advice we want to hear are two different things. The advice we want to hear rarely improves us at any level. And the advice that we need to hear is the stuff that actually hurts because it's stuff that actually makes us better. You have to decide whether you want to, whether you just want someone who's going to be like a yes man and you just want to listen to advice where you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. I know that. Um, or whether you actually want advice that's literally going to take you to a whole new level. So how do you get paid speaking gigs? You focus on your psychology because that's how you get on stages.